Try to be fully present to the breath. Don't hold any part of your awareness back. That's what we do when we're thinking about other things. Carve out a little area of awareness, a little room. And then you go into that room, and then you've lost the breath, you've lost the sense of the body. But it seems like we keep a couple of potential rooms on hand, just in case we want to think, in case we want to get out of here. And when that happens, we don't really get to know what advantages there are from being fully present. The more present you are to the breath, the more you can see its potentials. You're not here simply accepting what's here. You're accepting the fact that you've got this situation, but things can be done with it. Sometimes you hear that the Buddha said, we suffer because we want things to be differently from the way they are. And to some extent that's true. But there's also an extent to where we have to make them different from what they are. As long as there's suffering in the mind, things, something's got to be done. And you don't just give up on the breath and say, well, the breath can do its own thing. I've got to work solely on the mind. You work on the mind by working on the breath. You explore what its potentials are. There's a lot of potential for good in here, potential for ease, a potential for a rapture. There's a potential for the mind to settle down. All these things are here in potential form, if you pay full attention to them. So don't hold anything back. Be fully present right here. Tell yourself you don't have to plan anything right now. There's nowhere else you have to go, nothing else you have to do. If you take care of the present moment, it'll take care of a lot of other things as well.